and all of you guys were like, you're pregnant, Nas, you're pregnant, you're pregnant, and I was like, you're crazy, but you guys were right. Welcome back to my channel. So this video is just gonna be a little follow me around type vlog. Um, I'm not sure really what I want to do for this video, but I just miss you guys. I've been so MIA. But before we get into today's video, I just want to thank all of you guys so much for all of your congratulations and all of your well wishes. You guys have been so cute and sweet towards Mel and I over our big announcement. So I just want to thank all of you guys so much for all your kind words. We all appreciate it. The little nugget appreciates it too. And also before we get started with this video, I just want to say I absolutely hate the way my makeup turned out today. It's just not it. I try to do something different with my eyes and I just... This is not the amount of makeup I was trying to wear today. I was trying to go for something more neutral, more natural glam. And this is what I ended up with. And I hate it. Like, I don't like it at all. But it's just a miracle that I even got myself ready. Because you guys, this pregnancy has been kicking my ass, okay? I'm almost at 10 weeks. And since six weeks, I've been dealing with the worst morning sickness. I'm literally nauseous 24-7. Like, right now as I'm filming this, I feel so freaking nauseous i might as well be on like a cruise ship like that's the type of motion sickness i'm feeling right now I've just been putting so much stuff off like look at this mess behind me like everything is just a mess because i've just been so like lazy and tired and fatigued all that jazz like i don't even do like my makeup anymore so i think that's why my makeup turned out so bad is because I forgot how to do it but anyways i'm really looking forward to next week today is saturday and on wednesday mel and i are flying home back to columbus and we're just going for like two weeks just to really spend time with our families and relax like you guys i've been looking forward to this like crazy like i can't wait to just like go home not do anything like i'm trying to get everything done before i go so i can really just relax on this trip and let my parents take care of me i've been craving my mom's cooking like crazy like i crave her gourmet sabzi estambuli polo like all of her persian dishes that i need to learn now i can't believe i haven't learned any of them now that i'm gonna be a mom myself like i want to cook these traditional persian meals for my kids and it's like i rely on my mom to cook them so when i go home this time i'm really gonna sit there and take notes and really watch how my mom does it i mean i have all this time but i don't like pay really really close attention so this time when i go back I 100% will. So I actually received an order from Shein. I've actually never received clothing from them before. So I've seen nothing but great things about Shein. So I'm really excited to try on their clothes and see what's good. I mean, they're all over Instagram lately. I feel like everybody is rocking Shein. So I'm really excited to try out all of the pieces that they sent me. I'm gonna try them on for you guys and we can be the judge together. Also tomorrow, so I know I said I'm going back home next week, but my dad is actually coming to visit me tomorrow only for two days because I'm in the process of doing something really special and I, this is just something I definitely wanted my dad's help and dad's advice on. So he's coming out here to help me with a really big financial investment. So yeah, he's coming tomorrow, which is Sunday, and then I'm leaving on Wednesday. He's leaving on like not Monday night, Tuesday, which is like weird. We might as well have just flown together, but I actually booked me going home like a long time ago and he just booked this ticket like not too long ago. So that's why I ended up doing that. But what else? What else do I have to do? I also need to go to Target. Oh, and at the end of this video, I want to sit down with you guys and tell you about how I knew I was pregnant and my pregnancy symptoms and all that jazz. I'm getting lots of comments asking me like, how did you like know? What were the symptoms? Um, what birth control were you on so we can all know not to take it? You know, stuff like that. So I'm going to be answering all those questions at the end of this video. So let's do a little try and haul. I'm really looking forward to seeing how all these clothes fit. I was about to be behind me while I try on all these clothes because he's going to be on the computer. But anyways, I did want to mention that this video is sponsored by Shein. So fall is finally approaching us. I don't know about you guys, but I'm over the summer. Like I'm ready for turtlenecks and jeans and jackets. I mean, even though I live in LA, um, I'm going to be, you know, I travel home a lot. So I'm really looking forward to like colder weather, like light jacket weather. So, you know, fall is approaching us. We got to switch up our wardrobe. So Shein is an awesome place for stylish, accessible, affordable outfits 
outfits for this fall. I have a ton of pieces from their fall collection that I want to show you guys. And I wanted to mention that Shein has an amazing return policy. You can return any item for free within 40 days of your order. And also Shein hooked it up and gave us a 15% off for you guys. So if you use the coupon code FSNK15, you can get 15% off your whole order. I'll put it on the screen and down below for you guys as well. And let's get right into this haul. So I have two pieces on right now. So this is just a basic black bodysuit. And this dress is the cutest little fall dress ever. I love the pattern. You guys can kind of see my belly showing. Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> This is crazy. Okay, anyways, I absolutely love the zipper detailing. This is like the most perfect little dress for fall. If you live in a colder climate area, just wearing this bodysuit, this dress, with some black sheer tights and some booties, that is just such a cute outfit. But here is what the dress looks like. It just goes to a really nice length. Like this would work for school, because see if you put your hand it goes below the finger. I mean, I don't know your dress codes, but I would totally wear this if I was like still in high school and stuff. And I love the neckline detailing. And then this bodysuit, it just works with anything. You can pair it with a skirt, with jeans. You guys know last winter I was the queen of black bodysuits. So I wear them like crazy. Speaking of jeans, I also picked up these light wash denim ripped jeans as well. And I love this little stripe going down the side. It's such a nice, like, sporty touch. So here's what they look like from the back. These are super stretchy. I got these in a size medium, and I typically wear a size 7 to 9 in jeans. So the mediums fit me really well, and these jeans will just go with a lot of different outfits. But yeah, I'm really feeling these jeans. Babe, what do you think about these jeans? Cute? Mm -hmm. Make the booty look fat? This dress right here is hot, okay? I love this dress. I love the cutout on the shoulder. It's so sexy. And the leg has a slit. Like, oh my gosh, this dress is fire. And it's so stretchy, so it's gonna grow with the baby bump, which I'm really happy about. So this is probably, like, so far, I think this is gonna be my favorite piece because it's just so me. You guys know I love an exposed shoulder and off the shoulder ensemble. I love that it has this leg slit. It's just such a nice touch. This next outfit I ordered to pair together. So on top we have this orange little cropped sweatshirt that has this drawstring, which I really like. So you can, you know, crop it as much as you want, make it looser. So I really love this. They have this in a bunch of different colors and it's so comfortable. I chose orange because my whole closet is like black and white. So I'm like, let me get a pop of color in there. And then I got these windbreaker type jogger pants. I wanted more pants like this to pair with my sneakers. I'm not someone who really likes to wear jeans with my sneakers. So I think these would be really cute with a lot of my Nikes that I have. So these are just like black windbreaker jogger type pants they fit really really well so i really like this fit together really comfortable really casual and everything just fits amazing like i'm genuinely impressed by the quality so i have another dress to show you guys it is just this little white button-up dress and it's so cute because this here let me show you how this works so this is like open like this and then you have a string right here and then this side of the skirt you wrap it around and then you tie it yourself. So you can tie it as loose or as tight as you want. So if you tie it like really tight, you can really like cinch in your waist. And hold on, let me tie it back up so I can show you guys. But I love how you can like adjust the skirt part. So again, it buttons up and also has this really cute collar. So here is the length. So it's like a really nice length. I love how everything from Shein isn't like really really short i hate when dresses come to me and they're like to here i'm like where where am i supposed to wear this to like i'm confused and i really like this one again this one is stretchy as well so we got room for the little nugget to grow which makes me happy because i was like worried because i'm like what am i going to do with all my clothes like with my stomach growing and stuff so i'm really happy that a lot of these clothes are super stretchy and they can like grow with me you know what i mean this is such a cute little dress this just like screams nas i love it so much again off the shoulder you guys know how i am about off the shoulder but it is this nude floral little i, I want to call it like a tea party dress it's so girly 
so pretty i love the hemline of it and then this side it's long sleeve so here is the dress oh my gosh it's like the cutest little dress ever i have like these little white heels that would be so nice with it and here is a back view a side view all that jazz i feel like all the ruffles kind of hide the little bump gosh i love my little bump it's so cute so the rest of the items i have to show you guys are tops so i just threw back on those original pair of jeans that i showed you guys earlier so this little crop top i got specifically to wear under that shirt that i have on the couch over there but i am pleasantly surprised this material is so nice like it is such the quality you can't see my nipples through it like usually tops like this are super sheer but this quality is super thick like you don't even have to wear a bra with it and it looks great so it is just this sheer kind of like it looks like a starry like night sky which i love little sheer top and it has the like i think it's called the lettuce trim um on the sleeves on the neck as well as the bottom as well so actually i don't know if it's because i'm like pregnant now i'm like i kind of don't like that i'm wearing a crop top under it i think this would look better with a full black um cami under it as opposed to a crop top but either way i think it's super cute i would definitely pair this with some black jeans and some heels for like a little girls night out but this is just such a cute top i have nothing like this and they have this in a lot of different colors too i got the black but they had this in a lot of fun colors as well this crop top is definitely more of a summer vibe but it is so cute again i when i see off the shoulder i right away click add to cart like it's just an automatic thing for me so i got this nude little off the shoulder top i think i've said little a million times but it is little like it's a crop top it is little but it is the perfect shade of nude and i love this detailing right here like this tortoise shell ring right there and this is just such a cute little top to pair with the skirt or some jeans and i even like these two together to be honest and let me show you guys the back i like how this side has a strap as opposed to being completely off the shoulder because especially with this material you don't really feel that much support so I like that they put this strap right here so you feel like everything's getting held up you know what I mean I need to be banned from ordering anything else off the shoulder and leopard print okay I know I have a problem I know I have a problem but I just can't help it like I love this neckline I just think it's a it's so sexy B it's so flattering and you know what who cares I just like it I like anything off the shoulder so when I saw this on the website I knew I needed it in my closet it is just this black crop top and this is adjustable so I tied this over on the side this is just the cutest little basic top to me and it looks so nice with these jeans you can dress it up dress it down here is the back Guys, I'm like genuinely impressed with everything I've gotten. I love every piece I've tried on. And it goes with these jeans because the stripe is black. So I feel like this itself is a nice little ensemble. This is the cutest little top ever. It is this white and black polka dot shirt. And it has these puffy sleeves. And then you tie it on the side, which I love. It's such a nice little touch. It's definitely a lot different than everything in my closet and see my bra showing we can easily put a safety pin right here or just no bra if you want so definitely when i wear this i'm gonna put a safety pin right here and like it will look perfect i feel like i'm saying everything is my favorite but this is the last item i have to show you guys so make sure you guys check out shein down below and use my 15 percent off code i'll put everything linked for you guys so make sure you guys check out down below and let me know in the comments what your favorite piece was so unfortunately when i put you guys in the car tripod i can't see the viewfinder so i have absolutely no idea what this footage is looking like right now with the lighting looks like so i'm crossing my fingers that it looks decent but we're finally on our way to target i'm just driving over right now so i've been meaning to go to target for days now i'm wearing that orange sweater from shein that i showed you guys it's so comfy and cute i just paired it with some black biker shorts and some black nikes um but i've been meaning to go to target for so many days now i've just been a total slob kebab i mean you guys already know i told you i've been super fatigued super tired super nauseous you can't get me to do nothing okay but i really need to go we're out of basically all cleaning supplies i like the method brand which is i think they only sell it at target i don't really see it at ralph's or anything like that but i need to get like some cleaning sprays fabuloso 
um, fabric softener. I need to get new comforters for my bed as well as the guest bed. We also need to go grocery shopping, but it's already pretty late in the day. I mean, it's not that late, it's like five, but I do, like I'm completely out of all food. And the ironic thing is, is that I'm filming a what I eat in a week and I literally have no food in my house. So go figure, usually people pre-plan that stuff. They grocery shop, pick their meals for the week. I'm just doing a super realistic, raw, what I eat in a week, pregnant edition because my appetite is completely different. Like my appetite is gone. I am gonna see you guys over at Target. This light always takes 30 years. Did you see how long we were just sitting there? That's how long this light takes. So I will see you guys once I get to Target. Okay, we just pulled up to Target. This sun is so bright, oh my gosh. I feel like that's gonna create a shadow. But we're about to do our shopping and guys, I'm having such a big craving right now for chocolate chip pop tarts. That sounds so good to me right now. Like I have not been hungry all day. I had like an omelet and oatmeal like earlier. But the thought of any food is not sounding good to me right now. But the one thing that sounds delicious is a chocolate chip pop tart. And I got an excuse, girl. I'm pregnant. I'm going to get it. Okay. I'm not the one who wants it. The baby wants it. So we're going to get some pop tarts as well. Look at all the baby goodies. Aww. Can't wait. Start like shopping and stuff. Okay, so we're on the hunt for some Pop-Tarts. I don't really buy Pop-Tarts, so I honestly have no idea where they would be. Like, I figured they would be by the granola bars. All right, guys, I just wanna end off this video talking about how I knew I was pregnant and stuff, as I mentioned at the beginning. So, this turn like is low-key like choking me. I can't like breathe. But I just wanted to talk to you guys about how I knew I've gotten a lot of DMs, a lot of questions about like my symptoms and stuff like that. So I just want to start off by saying I was not on birth control. So a lot of you guys were like, how did your birth control fail? Like what were you using? No, I was not using birth control. We were not using protection. And that is because honestly to us, like we were, we were married. So we were just like, if it happens, it happens. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. So that is why we had no problem not using protection. Just It just hit me that I was taking the Alani New Balance pills. So I started taking them. You guys know I've had troubles with acne like my whole life. And I started taking them. I only went through two bottles. So I only took them for two months. So I only started taking them when I got back from Puerto Rico. So it was April, May-ish I started taking them. So I was taking the Alani New Balance pills when i got pregnant basically what that pill does it balances out your hormones so that can it doesn't cause fertility they made it really clear that these pills don't cause fertility it just balances out your hormones and when your hormones are balanced which they should be you're fertile which you know as women our bodies were created genetically to bear children it's not the pills fault. so i'm gonna say oh lani new balance pills made me have made me get pregnant that is not the case at all again i was not using protection so it's my own fault not that it's like something bad like oh it was my fault you know what i mean but it's just crazy that i only was taking those pills for two months and i ended up pregnant on them because i got a lot of dms like be careful on these girl like they make you fertile and i'm like okay whatever because it wasn't like, like this is just such TMI to be talking about in a video, but it wasn't like Mel was planting his seed inside of me, if that makes sense. You know, pulling out worked for us for a really, really long time. It was just when, you know, we had those Alani New Balance pills on top of it. I guess it just made me fertile. A lot of women claim that those pills are what finally got them pregnant. I know YouTuber on here, Yasmin Beauty Bird, she swears that those pills are what finally helped her get pregnant. So I mean, if you are someone who's struggling to get pregnant, definitely check them out. I did see a huge difference in my mood, in my skin. So I did reap the benefits that I wanted. I took them specifically for my skin. But yeah, if you're not using protection and you're planning on taking those pills like for acne or whatever, 
get on birth control first is all I'm gonna say. So back to my symptoms. So once Mel and I got married and we weren't using protection, I just didn't want to use birth control. I just hear a lot of horror stories. It's not like anything specifically happened to me that caused me to fear birth control. It's just like the horror stories that I heard. And I know that's not like a valid reason, but again, to me, being married, it just I didn't want to put this pill in my body. So I started tracking my period. Now, I was not somebody who was super, super regular on my period. I'm not a girl who can say, like, my period comes every 24 days, every 28 days, like clockwork on the dot. That is not how my period is, and I know that's the case for a lot of younger women too. It takes a while for your body to get in a rhythm, and there's been times where I've missed a period for a full week, and then I get my period. So. For me, it wasn't like I had a date on my app. By the way, I use the app Flow. I got a lot of messages on Instagram when I posted that my period was 37 days late. A lot of you guys are like, what app is that? What app is that? The app is called Flow. I'll put a picture of it on the screen, but that's the app that I would use to track my period. So it's not like my period would come on the dot this time every month like clockwork. I honestly didn't even notice it was late at first, but my trainer, Rachel, I knew that we were around the same time because whenever she was on her period, I was on my period. So I remember her complaining about cramps. So I was like, oh, you're on your period. That means mine's coming soon, if that makes sense. So I was like, oh, mine's coming soon. If she's on it, mine's coming soon. So I was like, oh, it's coming, it's whatever. But that week I started to feel very different. I was not feeling like myself at all. And that's the difficult part is that Period symptoms and pregnancy symptoms are so similar like it's unfair that how similar they are So I you know even before my period starts I usually don't feel like myself So this whole time all the symptoms I had I was like, oh, this means my period's coming So the very 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 first symptom I got was that my boobs tripled in size and they were so painful a lot of you guys noticed that my boobs are a lot bigger too so if you guys didn't know i actually got a breast reduction and lift when i was 19 so you know i went out of my way to get smaller boobs like i don't i personally don't like having big boobs i naturally have big boobs so i got a reduction and everything and i noticed that my boobs were aching and so sore and like nipple tenderness like you couldn't even like barely like touch my boob without like me crying that's how painful it was so i would always like joke around with mel like it feels like my boobs are filled up with milk i know this is like so tmi but it just felt like such a weight on my shoulders like literally a weight on my shoulders and when i take my bra off at night i literally felt like two boulders were like falling out of them it was crazy i was like okay this usually happens around my period too you know like period titties that's the thing i'm like okay that means my period's coming it's whatever so and the thing is is because i have the lift now now that they got bigger with the lift like i genuinely look like i got implants like it's crazy so mel loves them i personally don't i i'm already like second reduction planning on that afterwards so this whole time I'm expecting that big symptom is just because my period's coming. Now this week was such a busy week on my life. Like this week, you guys, it was just like the worst week for this to happen. I was filming with MTV, not the lip lock show. A lot of you guys thought that's what I was talking about. I was filming a whole ass like reality show with MTV. It's not like my reality show. I just have like an episode in this little series. They came and filmed my life for a week. So I was just feeling so overwhelmed and busy because I had so much to do and I was getting filmed on top of that, you know, with MTV, like a reality show. So I was just feeling overwhelmed, but I'm someone, I'm like seize the day kind of person. Like when I wake up, I'm, I'm at this point in my life, I was super productive. Like I loved going to the gym in the morning and coming home and getting started on work. I started to feel incredibly overwhelmed and I was like, you know what? Maybe I'm starting to get burnt out um, Maybe in my head. I'm like, it's just because MTV is filming me like that's why I feel stressed out It will all be over once this week is done and I get back into my normal routine That's how I was like saying it But I just remember just feeling so overwhelmed and I remember one day I just bursted out crying to Mel and I'm like, Mel, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I genuinely feel so overwhelmed. I didn't know what it was. Like, I just got so emotional out of nowhere. And again, I was like, I'm being emotional. 
period symptom, PMSing, like that's what I thought. For me, it just felt like the smallest tasks were the biggest asks in the world. It was crazy. Then a little bit before that, like I still haven't really missed my period at this point. A little bit before that, I put on my story that Roxy was following me around all morning around the house around the kitchen and i put on my story i'm like guys look like roxy won't leave my side it's so cute i swear i got like 200 dms you're pregnant you're pregnant you're pregnant you might be sick or pregnant you're pregnant you're pregnant you're pregnant and i'm just like y'all crazy like i don't know what you guys are talking about i was like mel look at this shit look how crazy our followers are like they're crazy and Mel still to this day thinks it's a coincidence because he's like Roxy follows around anybody who's in the house I have to disagree. She follows Mel around like that a lot um, You guys know like it's known that female animals are very attracted to male energy So Roxy and Nala are pretty attracted to Mel So she doesn't really like follow me around like that. So she was under my feet like i couldn't even walk without her under my steps so she was super super attached to me and all of you guys were like you're pregnant Nas. you're pregnant you're pregnant and i was like you're crazy but you guys were right so yasmin and ponte were over at my house and i told them about how you guys in my dms were like you're pregnant and then even yasmin and ponte noticed how big my boobs had gone because i wasn't wearing a bra on i was just wearing a tight shirt and they were both like damn like your boobs have gone huge and I was like, I know it's weird. I think it's because my period's coming. Like that's what I told them. But Yas was like, You sure you weren't pregnant? And I was like, There's no way. Like I'm telling you guys. I was like, No, like you're crazy. So finally, I go onto my app and I see at this point it says four days late. And again, I'm not someone who's super super regular. So I'm like, It's fine. It's coming. It's whatever. On the last day that MTV was filming me for that reality show, we did a meet and greet at the mall. If you guys remember, I posted on Instagram and Twitter like to come to Topanga Mall in Woodland Hills. A lot of you guys showed out that day. But I'm telling you, that entire morning before the meet and greet, I was feeling so sick. And that was when my morning sickness and nausea started. That morning I woke up, I felt so queasy. And it didn't really hit me until before the meet and greet. We didn't really have time to eat. So I thought this whole time that I was feeling nauseous because I haven't eaten anything today. So Mel picked us up some Wendy's. So just because we were in a rush, I was standing up in the kitchen eating like my sandwich. And I remember like just eating and all of a sudden the room started spinning. The room just like, I was just like, oh my gosh. I remember looking at Mel and I'm like, I'm about to throw the fuck up right now. I'm not even kidding. Like I'm about to throw up. I haven't thrown up once this pregnancy. I think if I let myself throw up, I'm just someone who doesn't like to do it. So if I'm someone who would just like let myself do it, I'm sure I would. But I like suppress it. I'm like, no, no, I don't want to do that. But anyways, back to the story. I remember that was the first time nausea really hit me. And I remember telling him out like, babe, I don't know what's going on, but I feel really, really sick. So we went to the meet and greet. Everything's all great. Everything is good. But again, I'm feeling off. I'm feeling different that entire week. So we come home from that mall meet and greet. And Mel doesn't even tell me that he's going to CVS. Like he doesn't even say anything, nothing. He goes to the store. Like I didn't even realize he left the apartment. And he comes in the room, hands me a box of pregnancy tests. He brought me the clear blue pregnancy test. And he's like, go take this. And I'm like, I'm about to take it. And this shit about to say not pregnant. Like, it's whatever. So I go in the bathroom. I don't realize that there's two tests in the pack. So I grab the one that has the lines on it. So I use the bathroom right away you know how it says in the back like give it a few minutes this shit like right away like as i'm peeing on it two lines pop up and i walk it over to mel and he's like looking at it he's like the second one looks really faint it didn't like he was tripping he's like the second one looks really faint i don't know and i was like you couldn't get one of those tests that just say pregnant not pregnant like why'd you have to get the old-fashioned lines ones and then i see in the pack that two came in it and then the other one is the one that says pregnant not pregnant so i go use the bathroom again doesn't even take a second like the second my pee touches the stick boom pregnant it was just crazy you know when you see things and you're like that's never gonna happen to me that's always what I had in my head. I knew I wanted to be a mom one day, but for some reason, I'm just like, it's never going to happen to me. You know, like you just feel like some shit is just not going to happen to you. It was just crazy to even know I could produce children. Like that was just insane to me. So when I saw that I said pregnant, I was like, I literally just, I didn't even say anything. I walked it over to Mel and I'm just like, 
look. And he's like, oh man, like we were just, we were just in shock. We didn't really say anything. We didn't really talk much. And I took a picture of it. First thing I did, took a picture of it, sent it to Yasmin. And Yasmin's ugly ass replies back, is this a prank? I'm like, Yas, I don't even do pranks. I don't even do pranks. So again, if you're taking Alani New Balance pills, get on birth control, okay? There wasn't even, again, TMI, but there wasn't even a moment in time where Mel and I thought where he had a slip up, you know what I mean? Because, you know, you know when there's a slip up and you go get the Plan B pill, all that stuff. This, Mel was like, I really can't tell you the day it happened. I really don't know. But <laughs> it's just, it's just crazy. I don't know, but we're happy. We're excited. We're so excited for this baby. Now every day we're just like, we can't wait for the baby to get here. We can't wait for the baby to get here. I can't wait for my belly to start like really showing. We're so excited and I'm so excited to you guys along the journey with me. Give me some video suggestions down below for some, I don't know if it's like pregnancy related videos or baby related videos you guys want to see or just anything in general. I'm honestly kind of in a rut. Um, with content ideas. Let me know your biggest symptom down below. Oh, another huge symptom of mine, like right at the beginning, was food aversion. So if you don't know what a food aversion is, it's the opposite of a craving. It's where it's a food that you usually like, all of a sudden sounds disgusting to you. So for me, no shade to Jinya Ramen, but you guys know I went through a phase where I was obsessed with ramen. Like ramen, I could eat that. I was eating that every day at one point. And it was crazy. Out of nowhere, overnight, I didn't want it ever again. It was so weird. I went from eating it every day to I literally, it was an overnight thing. I woke up one morning and I'm like, Mel, I never want to eat Jinya again. He's like, I never thought you would say that, but it's so weird. Like my body, I don't even crave it anymore. Like the thought of ramen just doesn't even sound good to me. And another thing that I loved before I got pregnant that just sounds awful to me is garlic. When something is overly tasting like garlic now, I'm like, oh, get it away from me. Oh my gosh. I barely have an appetite anymore. It's wild because I feel like I'm gaining weight because, you know, I'm not working out as much. I'm not working out as hard as usual because I can't. And I'm, I feel like I'm eating bad, but I'm not eating a lot. Like I'm definitely not eating out of my recommended daily amount of calories because I barely have an appetite. But when I do eat, like I'm eating whatever, sis. Like whatever I can get down, like pizza, um, pop tarts. I've honestly lost a few pounds, which I actually read is pretty common in your first trimester of pregnancy. But that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Again, let me know some suggestions down below. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.